Hi from my first guest, who apparently has been described as so funny <laughs> and, uh, and so sexy and, and who people can't wait to see on tonight's show. Uh, you loved him on Take Me Out, you loved him on Phoenix Nights, you loved him on Top Gear, and that is why we love he is here this evening. Would you please give it up for Mr Paddy McGinnis! Oh, please, everyone, sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> so, two Paddies uh, having a chat in Dublin. I know. Uh, this is, uh, this is it's like the start of a joke, This isn't is it? the first time in my life that I've done Irish TV. It's bonkers. Really? Yeah, I can't believe I've never done it. You see, this is, this is because, you, you, you know, you make the big bucks, you see. That's the thing. <laughs> no, That's no. what it is, no? No, it's, I've, I've, I've done loads of filming in Ireland and I've done various shows or a bit, but I've just never been on a show mm. over it. Or, um, or even, I did my first radio show today, a guy called Dave Moore, I did his show. Mm -hmm. uh, I did it from TGI Fridays in Dublin Centre uh, and I had a mojito and a chat and it was lovely. <laughs> And now we're here. And now we're here. And, and this is this is live now. Th this is live. I mean, you can say w whatever you want to prove oh, that. No, 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 I mean, I'm no. sure the Daily Mail will be delighted oh, with whatever you want to say. No, they don't really bother with me. No, to be honest, and I've never under really the radar. Yeah. Under yeah, the radar. Exactly. I was trying to work out. It's what? It's 26 years since we yeah. appeared on the yeah. screen. Yeah, you, you were the first person I did any TV with. So back in like sort of late 90s, mm, wasn't it? Mm. I used to work in a leisure centre. And uh, I applied to go on a show that Patrick was the host of. And was it in Holland or Amsterdam? Yeah. We ended up in Amsterdam filming this show. Bear with me. And, uh, but I was a punter on it, and you were an absolute diamond, because I think when you're sort of uh, on a show as a contestant, how oh, you're treated stays with you, and you were an absolute diamond, and, I, and I'll never forget that. So it was a lovely experience, so thank you very much, sir. And, and Anthea Turner was actually the other host on that show, and she'll never forget something you left in her toilet. Well, <laughs> no, no. Uh, yes. Well, again, because I was like working in a leisure centre at the time, <laughs> I got very starstruck, <laughs> and so, for some reason, I ended up in a car with Anthea Turner mm. on the way home, and mm. they were dropping her off at her house, and I got there, and I thought, I've got to see inside a celebrity's house. So I said, Do you mind if I use your toilet? Um, and she said, yeah, come in. And she, and she went, it's just the, like, downstairs toilet. I was like, this is posh. <laughs> so I was in there and I didn't even particularly want to use the toilet, but I just stood in there for a few, I thought, oh boy, if my careers teacher could see me now, <laughs> I'm in Anthea Turner's toilet. And I just kind of soaked, you know, cause this is the days before like camera phones and all that. So I just enjoyed the moment and left. And left. And that was that. And so that was 26 years ago, mm. and then Phoenix Nights, that was 23 years ago. I yeah, mean, what, I know. God, it's what crazy. a show to start it's the crazy. career with. I know, I know. But when we did Phoenix Nights, uh, obviously with Peter, we're all very young, and none of us really took it that serious. Look at, look at the head of her on that lad. Right. Them were the days. Yeah. Um, and uh, so we just basically pretty much got drunk every day and just had a laugh, you and know, and it was just an experience. People ask me about it now, and I wish I'd have known then what I know now, I'd have enjoyed it and soaked it up a bit more, but it's just, when you're young, you just, you just, like, go full on into anything, really, don't Look, you? look to be fair, I think, I think you enjoyed it enough. We actually have a little clip here of, of some right. of the laughs you had whenever you shouldn't have even been having a laugh. Right, OK. So these are some of, some of the outtakes. She's putting chairs on top of the table. Yeah. Let me hear a word with you, Max. See if you've succumbed to Billy's charm. <laughs> See if she'll succumb to Billy's charm. <laughs> <laughs> See if she'll succumb to Billy's charm. Let me hire a word with you, Max. Um, 
Oh, God. That's so funny seeing that. That's so funny. Oh. That's the trouble with, with Peter, because he directed Phoenix Nights and Max and Paddy. It's like having a mate who's in charge of like the dinners at school. So you feel as though you can just get away with things, but he's the biggest giggler ever. So once he goes, everyone goes and that's it. But that's the thing about him, isn't it? Because he'll actually say, right, come on, we're, do we're doing this, we're doing this. Yeah. And then the second he gets you to do it, then he's the one that goes. Oh yeah, and then he blames you. You know what I mean? In front of everyone. Yeah. That's his like thing he does, but... Uh, so, you know, if you would get a chance to work with a mate that you went to school with, it, it's not work, is it, really? You know, no. we just uh, kind of pinch myself. So, look, uh, we're used to seeing you on all the big shows, like Top Gear. You're now going to be coming back onto the stage. Yeah. How long's it been since the stand-up, the last stand-up tour? it was about eight years since I last did a tour. Uh, funnily enough, when I, when I first did uh, anything, I used to come to the Cat Laughs Festival in Kilkenny out here with Peter and uh, kind of dipped my toe in the water now and again. But when I first properly came over to do a show, it was with uh, the cast of Phoenix Nights. And we did a tour called the Jumping on the Bandwagon Tour, because that's exactly what we were doing at the time. We thought, we'll get some money in off this. And uh, we did the Olympia in Dublin. But I used to be terrified of flying. Now, the flight from Manchester to Ireland's 40 minutes. You're up and you're down. And I thought, I can't handle this flight. So I went to the doctor, I said, I'm going to need something strong to get me on this. And he said, uh, you give me these diazomapan, they're called. He said, only have one, don't have a drink. <laughs> Got it. Gets to the airport, what the doctors know? <laughs> Two, four pints of Guinness. <laughs> right? I swear, honestly, the First half of the show, I think I did it facing the wrong way with the back to the crowd. <laughs> I, was, I still don't remember it to this day. So I'm doing the Olympia again this time. Facing the right way. Facing the right way. Not bothered about flying. Looking forward to it. Uh, so you're going to be playing, I think you're going to be playing Belfast. You're going to yeah. be playing Derry. You're going to yeah. be playing Dublin. We've got yeah. the dates coming up. Um, did I see you on a little sneaky tour of Ireland recently? I was, yeah, I was, I was out doing something in Ireland that I can't really talk about. It's all very... Hush, hush. Okay. But uh, I was looking into sort of where my family are from and different things. And that what doesn't give it away at no, all. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, the reason I was doing it, my dad, right, God rest his soul, told me uh, his side of the family are from Tipperary, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry to let you know, they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I wish they were. Uh, so where so are they, they from? were from uh, Balinar. On the, over there. Yes! Yes! You know the funny See, thing? A bit more class. <laughs> the uh, funny thing about that, Paddy, was it was the same people cheering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was out there and, uh, and I just had an absolutely blinding time. Everyone in Balinar sort of looked after me, you know. God, I, I can't tell you how many different pubs I went in. We've got a few, uh, I think we've got a few pictures here, a few... Uh, oh, we saw the pics, did we? Did we see the one of you in the bath? Was that, was that? I beg your pardon. I mean, I think there was... Was there one of you in the bath? There we go. Oh, yeah, That's, yeah, uh, yeah. That, uh, that was after I got home from the pub. OK. Now, you was, know, that, was that in Tipperary or was that in... That, in, in no, that, well, that, I think that was in a... That was a in a, an hotel in Balinar, I think that one was. OK. But uh, I, loved, I loved it, you know, and it was just nice to finally find it, because on my mum's side, uh, my grandparents on my mum's side, their records from Ireland were totally lost, so we couldn't find a thing about them. So it was great to sort of discover my dad's side, especially after he said, uh, <laughs> you know, I was like... Where's he even got that from? <laughs> you know, he's like, oh, Tipperary, that, he'll not, he'll not ask me again. That'll do. So that was that, but, uh, yeah, that's uh, all to come. That's all to come. So, look, when you go back on stage, is, is it... Are you looking forward to it, or is there always that little thing that we have in the back of our heads, you know, that they mightn't... You know, they know Likey, they know Laffy, I mean... Uh, no, it's... Uh, I saw what you did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no... So did everybody I, else. Yeah, yeah. And ignored it, thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rightly so. Yeah. Um, I think... Anything when you're on stage, just when, you, when you're doing a tour, there's that moment just before you step on where you think, I'm on here for two hours now talking. Mm. But it's very, once you're on there, it's very seducing when the audience are behind you and you're, and you're engaging with them and everything else. And I kind of think, 
for me, certain places you do on tour, for instance, I, I filmed a show at uh, Glasgow Pavilions once, and it's like, that. as a football analogy, it's like that 12th man, you know what I mean, with the audience. So whenever I do Ireland, I get that vibe, do you know what I mean? So it's actually gives you a bit of a lift and the adrenaline's going. And that's when you come off stage and think, I want to do more, you know what I mean? It soon stops when you're in the bath after and you're like, oh, I can't be arsed. Yeah. But at the time, you're like, you're in the zone. At the time. Uh, you know, so you're going out, you're meeting the fans. I didn't, I didn't realise this until Prince Harry was a fan. Yeah, so um, he's another one doesn't get much press coverage. No. Um, no. So, as you know, we've done Soccer Aid over the years. Yeah. And you get to sort of meet loads of different... Like, two of my favourite people, by the way, I was going to say for Soccer Aid, Roy Keane and Robbie Keane. Now, I don't know if you know, like, Roy Keane, not a lot of people know this, but he's got a bit of a temper. Um, and I kept finding myself, I didn't, I've never met him before, I'm like, God, it's Roy Keane. I kept finding myself in situations, really awkward ones, like in the lift, just together. Silence. You know, like... Da, 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 yeah, yeah, like that. And then, and then I found myself in the shower with him. That was really awkward. <laughs> uh, and I've got to be honest, as a red-blooded male, I enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, I watched every sud on that warrior's body drip off him. And then with Robbie, who I just <laughs> absolutely love Robbie to bits. I've had so many nights out with him, and he's a totally different character. I've had, you know, Robbie and, and, and his wife, Claudine. Uh, might have had nights out with them together, not separately. I'm not, I'm not ringing Claudine. Is he away? I'm, I'm coming round. Uh, but that soccer aid, you just meet that many different people. But we were in a club in Chelsea, and uh, it was one of those weird soccer aid nights where Jamie Carragher was having a dance-off against Cafu, right? So I'm like, hang on a minute, you're from Croxteth in Liverpool and you're having a go against this Brazilian guy who's naturally rhythm and all the rest of it. So they're having this dance-off and it's one of those kind of strange nights. Niall was there from 1D and, um, and I got a tap on the shoulders, on the shoulder and it was Prince Harry and he went, I want to go to Fernando's! <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, oh, this is... This is God's honest truth. <laughs> and I'm like, bloody Prince Harry. <laughs> and, he, and he got hold of me, he gave me a big kiss on the lips and then just disappeared, <laughs> right? And I was like, did that just happen? So Niall come over and he's like, I've seen some things, he says, but that is, that's topping the list for me. And as I'm talking to him, he comes back again, takes my T-shirt off, right, throws it on the floor, lies on it, dry humps it, Gets up, puts his arm around me again, kisses me again, disappears. <laughs> and it's like, what is going on here? And then he pops up a third time and he says, do you want a Jaeger bomb? <laughs> and I went, I'll have a Jaeger bomb. <laughs> and as he's going to the bar, there was a, a picture of the Queen on the wall. And he went, hang on. So he says, I can't have a looking at me while we're doing this. <laughs> so he's the picture of the Queen of all. We have a Jaeger bomb and that were it and off he went. He was an absolute diamond. It was just a random night. But just the fact that he's sat in the palace watching Take Me Out <laughs> is just... It's just something on its own, really. Uh, before we let you go, uh, is, is Top Gear on pause or is that coming back? Yeah, or, or I, I what's think the deal, uh, we think? You know, it will come back. Yeah. They've not released the date yet, but it will come back. OK, and, uh, and how's Freddie? He's all right, bless yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, he's good as gold. He's okay. good as gold. OK, um, have you ever met another Paddy McGuinness, by the way? Is that, is that something that's ever I've happened not. to me? I've is, is this are you something... Are you leading me down the path of something well, here, or...? Well, well, no, we just thought that, you, you know, we were, we were looking at our audience and whenever they come in, they have to say who they are, and we, we actually have a, have a Paddy McGuinness in the audience, and we thought if you Shut could... Shut up. Just by looking, if you can telepathically tell us which one is the Paddy McGuinness, we'll give them a couple of tickets for your gig. Oh! So, Right. Yeah, so Have you got a Prince Harry as well? That's yeah, we've got... <laughs> Prince Harry's here and Roy Keane's just in the shower, right. just over there. OK. Uh, uh, so, so there's a Paddy McGuinness out there now? Yes, he's, a, he's the can current you, Mr it... Personality, County Lowes. Oh, well, this is, this is it. There. Can I go out there? I mean, I mean you, you can. Is it like Guess Who, where I go glasses and you go like that? Well, well no, so... so Has I, he got glasses on? No, no, he doesn't. No, no. Right, or am I hot or cold? Uh, you're, you're, you're getting warmer. You're getting warmer. Ballina. Colder. 
Colder. Ballinos. Colder. Colder. Ballino, but... Hello. Colder. Hello. I know you're not Paddy McGee's. Well, you might be this day and age. Who knows? <laughs> Any, anything goes now. Right. There we go. Keep up you go. There we go. I think Hot. you're... Yeah, hotter, 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 hotter. Uh, to your left. Please, please, no. 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 <laughs> The Please, no. The, 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 in, in a bit. There we go. The, down a bit, back a bit. Back a bit. There we go. Oh. Hello! <laughs> oh, no. for God's sake, Paddy McGuinness, put your hand up. Put him out of his misery. There he yeah. is! Yeah. There he is! <laughs> yeah. OK. All right, all right. Good yeah. luck. <laughs> hey! Is he coming to the show? He's coming to see the show, oh, so... Oh, fantastic. So, so you've got tickets there, Paddy. Uh, fantastic. After, oh, after, fantastic. After Paddy magically finding you there after the 51st <laughs> attempt, <laughs> you can see Paddy uh, next year, 2025, uh, yeah. at, I believe it's the Ulster Hall in Belfast, mm -hmm. uh, on April the 3rd. It's the Millennium Forum. Uh, April the 4th. Yeah. And then the three Olympia facing the right way. Yes. Uh, April the 5th. Tickets are available now on uh, Ticketmaster.ie.